So it should be pretty straightforward. Now I, I marked two and one, and here's two, two. So these are going together. Um, sorry, just like that. So I'm gonna glue both surfaces. Uh, I really am particular about gluing these surfaces here with some waterproof glue and making sure it really gets into it because this is the end grain. And <clears throat> we saw with end grain that's left untreated, what happens to it through time is that it does dry out, crack, check, get uh, cracks in it. So this is to help suffocate it. I, I'm also gonna prime this on the outside and paint it. But uh, but this is a method, this is a, a part here that I absolutely wanna do. So that's one and one. So here's the other side to it. And glue squeeze out would be fine. I would just wipe that down. I'm not really worried. Particularly with construction like this, I'm not really worried. I don't have to clamp it because I have my screws already in there and ready to go. <clears throat> so these go together. Trim. I'm just going to set my screws through slightly here so I can line it up a little bit more easily. Now I always, I leave these uh, a little bit tight and uh, loose here because I don't want them to pull through. When I'm on a miter, it actually slides the joint uh, apart when I do that. So I'm gonna leave it just like so. I'm gonna wipe it down. When I get up there, I'll sand it tight. And I'll, I'll screw this actually into the, into the uh, fascia back behind it. So once I've done that, I'm not at all worried about the two miter joints sliding apart from each other so I can go ahead and tighten those up then. Okay, you can see that the, the glue that squeezed out back here. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'll get just the stuff out of the corner because that's where it could be separating it from where we have our existing molding. Now I'll go ahead and I'll start these screws through. This is actually, I'll glue this first. Healthy portion. You guys eating well through all this? You know, I, uh, I feel like I'm eating very, very well because I'm like, every time we go to the grocery store, which is like about once every two weeks, we like, uh, everybody gets to put in like their 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 uh, wish list. Like, there's a guy who does uh, pizza reviews and and I watch him in the mornings when I wake up and uh, he's doing frozen pizzas now because he's at home. And so to me, it's just, it's fun to order some pizzas uh, and then do like a review in the family, not on film or anything like that, but just in the family. <coughs> And uh, that has been that has been fun for us. We we thought that we would not get as many as we wanted from from Giant, and we ordered through it for their pickup grocery pickup, so we wouldn't have to go inside or anything like that. So the first time we did it, we got about half of the things we ordered, and that's when everybody was really freaking out about the the virus, and nobody was going anywhere. And things have relaxed to some degree, and now people are going to the grocery store uh, more often, and people are getting what they want. You know, so that means that I'm also going to do the end grain here that's going to go against the, the house just to seal it up. Uh, so I ordered like 13 frozen pizzas. And uh, this time they all came, every one of them. So for lunch today, uh, I think I might have uh, frozen pizzas. Um, and I'll be doing my own little reviews. Not, nothing that I'm going to post or anything like that, but I'm not an expert pizza taster like that other guy. But, uh, but it'll be fun. So this goes on here. It's like so. I'll get these screws started up. The one I pulled all the way out when I did this. I'll get that back in. Okay. And this one just a little bit more than it is. 
Okay? I like holding it up to do it. Get those in there. In there. I'll flop it over upside down. off that glue squeeze out. Okay, now that's together and it has glue in it. Um, the back side there is going to be meeting up against. Oh, I'm sorry, I only get this one glued also here. And that last one there, I'm going to use a different kind of a glue just to hold it real well in there. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit. That nice and tight there, let that dry up a little bit also. Okay, and I'll show you when it's on.